know, what you see out of your, your group through the summer and, you know, as players, what, what's kind of your feeling going to the camp, what you need to get done on defense? Well, with the summer, we did get, we did a good job as a uh, linebacker group. We all ran, ran together, so we pushed each other, got up on the decks. That's probably the toughest thing we did. So we definitely pushed each other. And then going into fall camp, we're just ready to get on the field. We're ready to see what um, the summer did for us. And we're all moving around better than we did in the spring and last year. So we're just ready to hit the field. Marcel had a pretty clear message for everybody yesterday that don't, don't be anointing this defense is great. They got to prove it on the field. Uh, do you guys feel that as well? You, you kind of still need to have something to prove? Yeah, we still got to find our identity. We're not we're not the same group as last year. Um, every player has a little bit is a little bit different than they were last year, just size wise or speed wise. So we're a different defense and uh, yeah, we're, we're not great by any means. Do you think there are potentials there, though? I mean, you guys can be great if you live up to your potential. You think this can be a you know a, a stout defense? Yeah, I, th I think we definitely have potential, but um, so do a lot of other teams that end up not great. So we just gotta we don't really think about that. We just we just go in and work as hard as we can, and what happens happens. You guys put in potential. Is, is there a noticeable buzz or vibe or anything with, within that defensive room or your, your defensive group? I think uh, with uh, with every. Every team I've been on in my career here at Boise State, there's always been uh, of like a vibe that um, that we want to be great, but we're not we're not great yet, and we got to work for it. You guys played so much better the last month of last season. What would what, you learn through that stretch about what it takes uh, to to play consistent defense and, and to shut teams down? Just take it one game at a time and um, put all your focus into that team. Don't look ahead. Don't look, don't look behind if something went wrong last game. And, um, Everyone just started getting in the film room more, learning what they needed to do, where that helps at. And I think that really helps is not just knowing your position, but knowing everyone else's position. Your room is kind of a, a little different. You got you got four guys with a ton of experience, and the rest of the guys with no experience. What what, what is that group like, and, and you know how much responsibility do you take to try to bring those guys yeah. along a little bit? Um, I take some. I take huge responsibility because I'm obviously a, I'm a veteran coming into this defense, and I feel like uh, if I can just pass the knowledge on to the younger kids. If something were to happen to one of us that uh, is an upper of the rotation, it'll just help them to come in and um, keep the defense where it's at. What, what are you focusing on this camp, or what did you focus on in the summer personally? Where, where do you want to take your game to the, to the next level? Uh, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to do whatever I can to be the best for it, be the best team. Um, I try to trying to be a better leader. Um, just doing whatever I can to help this team win. Did you get a trophy or something for the defensive MVP of the Fiesta Bowl? Or yeah. What, where, where's that at? What'd you do with that? Uh, that's at my parents' house. Okay. Uh, yeah. So pretty much all that stuff is at my parents' house. So because um, it's a new year. You're pretty clean cut going into a uh, fall camp. Yeah. Uh, I had a beard going, but I know that I'd get a little bit lazy when I got home, like at 10 at night, to shave it. So I just shaved it before. Uh, Coach Ellis is saying that uh, one of his big emphasis is uh, th the way you guys move at linebacker and trying to move better. It, you know, through the summer, is that something you guys really honed in on? Do you see a difference in, in what you guys were able to do through the summer? Yeah, I think everyone um, dropped their 40 time by by a few tenths of, of a second, um, and then pro agility, everyone got better, and I think everyone's just in better shape. The overall team body fat and everything went down, so the team's looking pretty good. Uh, how, how do you kind of build off what you did last year, getting 100 tackles, getting some of those awards and stuff, playing pretty well? How, how do you kind of use that, but you know, also knowing it's a new year, how do you kind of build off that moving forward? I think I just let it all go, and it's, an, it's a new year, it's a new me, and if I just let it all go, see what happens. I'm, just, I'm not worried about individual stats. I'm more worried about um, our team goal, that's winning the Mountain West Championship and a, and a full game. From that linebacker position, kind of stand in the middle of that defense and you look around you see Dante being on your, your right or left or whatever and you see Danny Thompson behind you and all that experience up front what kind of comes to, what's the first thing that kind of comes to your mind when you just kind of stand there and you kind of look around at the talent uh, around you? I would just say trust because we all trust each other. We've all played a lot played a lot, and even some of the kids that come in that, that haven't played a lot, like you have to trust them to be able to um, just know that they got your back if you mess something up. They're going to be there for you, and if they mess something up, they know that I'm there for them. Trust, trust obviously takes time. So how, how important is that element to being a great defense? Yeah, it takes time, but also <clears throat> just like you can, someone can earn someone's trust in in a fall camp just by showing up every day, being consistent. And uh, I think it's really important if if there's, you can tell if the defense doesn't trust each other because they're all. If someone messes up, someone can be pointing the finger at them, but that's, that doesn't happen right here. How have you seen Joe Martirano develop and, and with what he's doing in the summer, going to play baseball and stuff, and Coach Avalos said he came back and looked like he didn't miss a beat, you know, uh, conditioning-wise. What 
How, how do you kind of look at look at him being able to do what he's been doing this summer? Um, it looks like he's been working well. Obviously, he, he had a pretty good um, summer season playing baseball, um, hitting the ball better. And he uh, came back. He's in shape. I think the first day back, we had to run 16 decks. And, um, I thought they were going to make him run less, but he ran 16 decks, and he seemed to do pretty good. Coach Abel said that, too, about hitting better. Did you guys <laughs> been giving him some grief for his batting average last year when he only played, like, five games? I mean, No, that's just what I heard because uh, <laughs> I think last year he wasn't hitting so well, but then this year I, I saw at one point he was hitting, like, over 300 and a couple home runs. Do you guys pay attention to his success on, on the diamond over the summer at all? Yeah, we do. I, um, in a couple of team meetings, Coach Harson would ask um, the linebacker group how – to tell everyone how Joey's doing in baseball, and someone would just say he's balling. So, for you personally, how exciting is a day like today? I know Jonathan Moss, he said he still gets goosebumps on, on the first day of the fall ball. Yeah, it's exciting because it's the start of a new year, and um, we got a lot to look forward to. But right now, our mindset's on fall camp and just being one enough, not trying to get too ahead of ourselves. Do anything fun this summer? Yeah, I was I was at home a lot. Um, and uh, pretty much every opportunity I got, just take a little break and uh, just hung out with some friends and family. You got something you, you look forward to doing when you go home? Anything, you know, you go to the lake or anything you, you really like to do when you get home? Yeah, it's near Tahoe, so it's a lot of outdoor activities and stuff. I went up to Tahoe, just stuff like that, mountain biking. One more for me, you know, uh, Andy kind of said that, you know, all that experience might allow you guys to kind of push the envelope maybe a little earlier in fall camp. Do you guys you guys feel like you're ready to, to that, I guess. Yeah, I think going in um, today, we have a lot. This year, probably the most we've put into the defense going into the first day. But um, we can all handle it because we uh, we know. I mean, we all know what we're doing, so we're all experienced and. Uh,